Hey guys, Willows here, and I'm back with another GTA 5 mod video for you. But this time today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Native Trainer without a numpad. This is helpful for anyone that has a short keyboard so they can't go up and down and all of that with a trainer as they don't have a numpad. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the key bindings so you can actually use your arrows to go up and down and all of that and just use your trainer. And let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so first things first, you want to go into my description below and click on the link in my description below. Just click on that, it will bring you to here, simple trainer for GTA 5. And I know, I know, this isn't native trainer, but the reason why I'm bringing you to here is because native trainer, there's, it is impossible to change the key bindings from that because there's no file or anything that comes with that that can let you change the key bindings. So in order to play with a trainer, without using key without using your numpad your number pad on gta 5 is to get a different trainer this is i really recommend this because it's nice and easy to use has a lot of options big variety and and you can use it with a short keyboard so all you got to do is click on the download button nice green download button here it will download once it's downloaded it will look something like this it will be this one i have highlighted right now just open it and you need WinRAR to open it I've already tried it doesn't can't open it with a normal folder so you need WinRAR which is free to get just search it up WinRAR and you can get if, if you don't know how to get just comment below and I'll help you out or I might make a video of too many people don't know how to do it but it's pretty easy and straight straightforward you just got to search up WinRAR download it get this and these are the two that I have highlighted now these are the two that you need but the one that you need if you want to change your, your key bindings so you don't have to so you can use a trainer without a number pad open this open trainer v dot i n i yeah i n i open it twice and the reason why you want to open it twice is so you can have it next to each other like this and this is the key binding section so this is where you can change the key bindings but the reason why I open two is because if you scroll down on the second one you will have the code for this so let's see here key bindings menu key so in order to open up the actual menu you have to do 114 which on here as the code says 114 is F3 so hopefully you understand now how it works same as this these are all code for here so let's see you probably do have f3 and f4 and all that but the reason why you clicked on this video is so you can use a trainer without a numpad a number pad whatever you want to call it so menu key up is 104 let's check here 104 is numpad 8 and if you don't have a number pad then don't stress all you have to do is find the up arrow code which is 38 so if you want to use the up arrow to go up on the menu just change this to 38 there you go that's all you have to do and then you just copy it for the rest so go down is the down arrow 40 40 as it says here down arrow 40 and you can do the rest yourself it's not that hard it's pretty straightforward and yeah that's all you have to do so once you've done that close out of that save it uh no don't save the other one just save the one that you changed the key bindings for copy this copy these two that i have highlighted now go back into steam right click on grand theft auto 5 i've showed you multiple times in lots of my mod videos for gta 5 but just right click on that properties local files browse local files to get to here which is the grand theft auto 5 directory and now once you're here you just paste what you just paste these um you just paste a trainer asi and trainer i and i into here and you must you must copy this one as well because this is how 
you must copy the I and I as well, the notepad that you just configured, because without that, it will just be the default settings. So now that you've changed the key bindings and that, just copy and paste them two into here. And once you've done that, get out of that, get out of that. Don't do this anymore. And once you've done it, start GTA 5. All right, guys, and I've loaded into GTA 5. Loaded back into GTA 5 with the simple trainer on. Now, to open it, just press F3. No matter, well, unless you've changed it in the key binding settings, but it should be F3. Go up and down. I've already set that to arrow key, so you can do it as well. And that's the only thing I've set. So in your thing, you should have set whatever you want the other things to be. Whatever you want the other ones to be as your key bindings. But for me, I just had as arrow keys. So let's have a look at this menu. So you have options, vehicle, options, bodyguard, slash page supporting, which I've already done, actually. As you can see, I have a Michael right here protecting me right now. Vehicle spawn. Oh, let's check out vehicle spawning. Well, oh, yes, this is nice. See, this is much better. It's all like organized and stuff. Random vehicle. Let's see what we get. Test our luck. Oh, shit, that is good. Oh, yo. Oh. All right, sorry about that, guys. I just need to turn the radio off for copyright reasons. But, oh, yo. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a pretty fun mod to do. I, I mean, I got pretty lucky with my vehicle, but yeah, this is fun mod to do. So it's a simple trainer for GTA 5. It's I know it's not the native trainer, but it's the simple trainer for GTA 5, which it's still a trainer. It's a mod menu for it's a trainer for GTA 5. So you can play around with it, have fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So before you go, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my other videos because I make GTA 5 modding videos a lot. I've been actually doing it quite a bit now. I'm gonna is this gonna be more and more GTA 5 modding videos are gonna be coming. So make sure you check out my channel, subscribe, all that, it helps a lot. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. See ya!